saying hi Capricorns. Um, happy, what's today? Oh, happy Wednesday. <laughs> um, hope you guys are doing good. This is going to be a mini reading. Like I told the other signs, um, I'm, I have a new deck that I got a couple weeks ago and I wanted to break it in. So I'm just doing mini readings for all the signs. Um, I'll do Virgo and Taurus after you guys. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know, everything may not apply. Um, and that's okay. Um, yeah. We got embracing here. Let's cut the deck. Embracing and simplicity in reverse. Right? And then we got embracing. So this card, embracing, came up for you guys a lot. I feel like what it was embracing that I seen. Um, what else? It was something else. It was embracing and it was, damn, what was it? Embracing and what else? Damn, my memory these days is so fucking shot. Um, okay, it was, embr oh, embracing and power embracing and power i feel like a lot of you are starting to see how powerful you actually are you know capricorn is the sign of the devil and tower right and a lot of times um and it's not, not, not it's not necessarily a terrible thing but you know the devil and tarot talks about like addictions right the honest world truth about the things that we're addicted to right so a lot of times um can't just like cancer you know, because, you know, Capricorn is the father of the Zodiac and Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. You know, both signs deal with issues of codependency, right? So I feel like um, with Cancer, is more emotional. And then with Capricorn, it's more tangible stuff like sex, people, drugs, um, lifestyles, money, overworking, um, you know, being workaholics, um, obsessed with power, obsessed with sex, obsessed with pleasure and things like that. So I feel like for a lot of you, you guys could have been codependent maybe on other people or a person or things to make you guys feel safe, to make you guys feel better. But I feel like you guys are learning. I feel like because you guys are starting to detach from certain people and certain just whatever attachments and addictions you have, whether it's a person, people, things certain environments you know anything that kind of keeps you stuck and feeling like okay you can't do this without this person or without this particular thing or without or you can't do things without a relationship or you can't be happy without a relationship or without this or without that i feel like you guys are or you should be i would say either you are or you will be my advice for you is um the more you learn to detach from those attachments and addictions, it's the more powerful you will feel and the more powerful you'll be. And those things, you know, you'll, you know, a lot of, of what you guys are attached to um, isn't even for you guys. That's the funny part. And a lot, and there, and there's, there's constant blockages because you guys end up just getting attached to what feels good, even if it's, you know, not so much what, feel, what feels good and what feels safe, right? And what feels familiar. And a lot of times that keeps us very stuck. It keeps us stagnant. It keeps the people around us stagnant. Um, and it's hard to, you know, it's hard to embrace new energy when you're constantly stuck on, when you've been like in the cycle, just stuck for so long. So whatever your attachment is to or whoever it is to, or whatever place it is to, um, the more you learn to detach yourself, the more you learn that you can, you know, you don't have to be attached to anything or anyone or any place in order to feel safe. And then the more you embrace like your own power instead of trying to, instead of latching on to others or letting others latch on to yours, the better things will open up for you guys. That's just my, that's just my advice, okay? Um, I feel like some of you are taking back your power or maybe someone's taking back their power from you. Flip, you know, always um, flip the roles as they need be. So this may be you behaving this way or this could be someone around you too. So either you're taking your power back from someone or they're taking their power back from you. So what do my Capricorns need to know? Or you can be taking it away from a place or whatever. Or thing, it you know. Ooh. 
we got abundance i like that yeah you know the more you release the more you're able to receive and attract right it's hard to um it's hard to receive when you know again when we don't have room for anything you know Oh, look what came up, see? Release, look, right? Release is here. We got truth. Some of you could be finding out the truth about someone. Someone could be finding out the truth about you. I think that came up in Earth Sign Read. And somebody's, I think it was Fire Signs, um, about someone finding out the truth about something. Um, we got wisdom. Oh, this is something that came up for you guys a lot when I was shuffling as well, wisdom. So again, you guys are learning um, a lot right now. Um, and we got taking risk. I like this, Capricorn. I like this. And then we have the light. Yeah, so I feel like... Um, let me see. So abundance doesn't always mean, I know people with a lot of readers say, oh, abundance, you know, you guys are gonna be uh, money, cash, for, you know, whatever, whatever. Abundance to me doesn't always mean, when I see an abundance card, it doesn't always mean to me that you're gonna be receiving money or especially if that's not, especially if you're not working towards anything or especially if you're not being disciplined or you're not, um working or it's very i just find it very weird when we just tell people oh you're gonna um abundance is coming money is coming and it'd be people that's not even working or people that don't want to work or people that aren't even working towards anything money doesn't fall from the sky like that's just not how life works right um the magic in things is knowing what you want and then taking making small action steps to make things happen and that's when things start to come together so when i see this abundance card especially next to the wisdom and taking risk i feel like you guys are learning i feel like the abundance is you know you're you guys are learning so much about yourselves um and also abundance comes in many forms. You can, you guys can be feeling more abundantly confident. You guys can be feeling, um, you know, abundantly more free, right? So it's like you guys could be focusing on releasing at this time. You guys can be, you know, and I, I feel like to me, if abundance or money is something that you've been having a hard time with or that you, that's been kind of scarce, it's probably because you guys aren't taking risks and you guys aren't probably taking risks because you guys are so attached to, you know, you, you guys are just attached to just repeating patterns and just repeating the same things. And again, maybe a too attached to the same environments, the same people, the same person, the same things. So um, for some of you, you're, you know, your finances are, look pro you know, are probably steady. And then for others of you, the abundance is more so about you learning. Your, you know, the, the abundance for you is getting more confident with yourself becoming more healthy with yourself, releasing so you can receive, right? Um, we got wisdom here. A lot of you, a lot of you um, are learning a lot about yourselves. A lot of you can be self-reflecting at this time, um, which if you're not, I think you should be. That's just my, I'm not going to tell you what you should do, but my, you know, um, I think my advice would be to self-reflect. I think you would, you would learn a lot about yourselves right? You learn a lot about your addictions, your attachments, um, and, you know, how that, how life has been showing you, how life has been mirroring basically what you've been attached to and what you've been addicted to, right? Um, and we got taking risks, again, releasing, right? Out with the old and with the new, right? You know, not being afraid to leave certain things behind, not being afraid to leave certain people behind, not being afraid to let you know things go and to finally free yourself right that's a big risk especially if all we've known is certain things certain people certain places certain habits certain things it's kind of hard or certain mindsets certain person certain ways of being certain ways of living like it's hard to kind of do something different but if you want your life to be different you kind of have to do things differently right so um 
you know, I would say Capricorns continue to self-reflect if you haven't. I think that'll be really good for you guys. You guys are going to be learning a lot about yourselves at this time. You're going to be learning a lot about your self-worth. And you're going to be learning about how um, attachments has been keeping you stuck. And we have the light here. And trust, right? The light and then trust. Trust was on the other side. Trust was on the um, other side of things, right? Trust was on the other side of endings. That's how new beginnings form, okay? I hope this helps and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!